Hello, I'm Captain Iceblock. I represent Storm Spirit players around the world, and inside the channel, you'll find guides on Storm, other heroes, middle lane mechanics, streams, and coaching sessions. Your support keeps the content flowing, and if you'd like to contribute, find out how down below. With all that said, let's go. Let's say you, as a player in a match, were given a question. What do you want to do once you reach level 6? If you're a Lina or a Sky Mage in the mid lane, the answer is usually fairly simple. Use the ultimate to either kill the opposing hero or scare him out of the lane just by kill threat. Similarly, a Dragonite player knows his purpose at level 6 too. Use the ultimate to start chipping away at the tower. But to improve ourselves as players, why not find better questions, ones to which answers are not immediately clear and often change throughout the match duration, questions that keep us actively thinking and adjusting our gameplay on the spot. Let me introduce you to my three questions that will define how will I approach an ongoing match. As per usual, the video will be shown from Storm's perspective, but the topic I talk about can absolutely be applied to most other mid heroes. Let's begin. What can I do in the mid lane? I usually ask myself this question right after the draft is complete, and depending on what answer do you get from your question, it will impact how you should approach the lane. To understand the question, let's present ourselves with a couple of scenarios. Scenario 1. I'm playing Storm Spirit vs Dragon Knight. A hero which naturally soaks up a lot of harassment and is almost impossible to push out of the lane or kill. So to the question, what can I do in the mid lane, the answer is one and only, farm with spells. Trying to last hit with auto attacks is hindered thanks to Dragon's Breath, and dumping mana specifically for harassment purposes is just wasted mana because of how tanky DK is. So in this scenario, the answer is pretty clear, and shouldn't change throughout early game. Farm its spells, incorporate jungle rotations, and just get what you can get out of the early game farm without wasting time on kill attempts. Now, once we get to the other scenarios, the answer often varies depending on how the matchup is progressing. Enter Storm vs Queen of Pain. On paper, it seems like Queen of Pain would come out on top of this encounter thanks to the superior harassment tools. And most of the time, I would agree. Initially, the answer to my question, what can I do in the mid lane, was the default one. Bring enough regen, survive to level 4, rotate to jungle and continue from there until level 6, at which point I can dodge daggers and safely clear the lane. No. But because the queen has misplayed and died, suddenly my answer changes. What can I do in the lane? Well, now with the extra experience and gold, I can trade at an advantage and staying in the lane becomes my new goal, as from that moment, as long as I stay in the lane, Queen of Pain will have to either continuously spend gold on region, or retreat back and only farm from behind the tower. Yes, I gain less than I would gain if I just rotated the lane to jungle, but by doing so, I'm hindering Queen's farm, while keeping my own relatively high. Here I am! Zip! Zap! And this mentality is further emphasized in our third scenario, Storm vs Monkey King. The matchup itself is very delicate, and the answer to the question what can I do in the mid lane changes every second. Again, just like with Queen, Storm can just jungle from level 4 and more or less keep up with MK's farm without the danger of dying. And that's good. Many players play this way and nothing wrong with being on the safe side. But to me, this question extends a bit further. Against heroes like Monkey King, my question becomes, can I shut him down? If the answer is yes, and remains yes throughout the early levels, for example Storm isn't being heavily ganked, then I will focus every single resource I have into staying in the lane and getting that XP advantage. My singular goal becomes reaching level 6 first. Every extra gold is spent on selves and mangoes as needed, and every last hit is ensured to hit Monkey King too. Now let me explain why. Like I said before, Storm just focusing on his own farm throughout the lane and jungle is perfectly fine. But 
While you're farming, MK is farming too. With enough early items, MK will no longer easily go down one on one, and he will most likely venture the gang decides, requiring Storm to interrupt his own farming session to go help his team. Alternatively, a Storm that solely focuses his lane efforts on shutting Monkey King down, when successful, completely eliminates the hero from the game. So while you farm slightly less creeps, you gain just as much and more by both hero kills and space made for your team by eliminating the opposing mid laner from the game. So to recap, when the game starts, ask yourself the question, what can you do in the lane? And then focus those efforts in the scenario that is most likely to benefit both you and the team. Make sure to review the question and the answer as the matchup goes on, since mistakes from you or the enemy can alter the ongoing plan. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Stay flexible and always one step ahead. Moving on, question number two. What can I do in other lanes? This question is best asked after level 6, when rotating becomes easier. Usually, if I see something like a safe lane lifestealer or an offlane enchantress, my answer becomes nothing. There's nothing I can do in the side lanes, and I continue to pursue my primary objective from question 1. However, once in a while, opportunity arises. Either it's a good rune or weekend side lanes, or a 10 minute bounties. There are plenty of opportunities that are worth pursuing and plenty that will only set you back. But as long as you continue to ask the question, you can evaluate the answer and act accordingly. In this one match, my primary question, what can I do in the lane, was stay and prevent Invoker from farming. But since he kept receiving help, I asked myself, what can I do in the other lanes? And immediately saw an opportunity to pressure a solo Monkey King in their safe lane. Lastly, after the laning phase is over, I ask myself the third question, where do I wanna be? This is a much broader question, requiring a separate topic, but let me try to summarize. After asking this question, I choose my movement on the map depending on the answer. Do I want to leave the jungle for my carry, such as Alchemist? Then I will farm the lane or jungle on the opposite side of the map where he is. Have I shut down my opposing mid? Then I will farm my way to their weakest lane and help with their tower. Are we currently too weak to fight 5 vs 5? Then I will pressure a tower on the opposite side of where my team is to force enemy rotations on me and give my team some space. Dyer's middle tower isn't going to last long. These are just a few examples of the top of my head, and there are too many scenarios to list them all. Basically, after asking yourself where they wanna be, take into consideration current state of the lanes, team's farm, enemy farm, available space, potential space, and make rotations accordingly. And this concludes today's topic. Thank you for watching.
Good luck.